I want to do a little bit of an introduction to my slight watch addiction. So Lily and I had these great plans to try my steaming basket and get some pork buns from the Asian supermarket. And it was gonna be delicious and so good. And then we both realized we had a lot of stuff to do today. So we got canceled. Not a bad plan B. And I'm editing videos for my adoption series. So check them out. Cause by the time you watch them, they'll all be posted. OMG, what is your channel called? Lily Schmaltz. And what do you talk about? Adoption. We'll link it down below and we'll put the name right here. Check it out. It's really interesting stuff. So Lily and I make popcorn fairly often and we pretty much got it down. And I'm realizing that we talked about Flayo Call, which is delicious and that's how you know movie theater popcorn tastes like movie theater popcorn, but we never talked about how we actually make the popcorn itself, which I never thought about until Lily told me that that's how she made it, but it's so much better and easier, easier in a sense, and cheaper than buying just the microwave bags. So I'm gonna show you guys how we do that today. Could not be easier. Get, you know, a decent sized pan, set it to past medium heat. So on like a scale of one to 10, maybe like a six. Then pour in a few popcorn kernels. We just have, you know, grocery stores will have these big containers of loose kernels with some oil of some kind. We always use canola oil or vegetable oil. And once you see them starting to pop, go ahead and add in more kernels enough to cover maybe three quarters of the bottom in a single layer. and then cover. If your pots have a little steam vent like that, you can totally cover it all the way, or leave a little gap, either or. And then it's pretty much just a process of gently moving it until it all pops. If you have your heat where I have it, should only take maybe five minutes to get as much popping as you're going to. And ideally, this is your end result. And I say that partially as a joke because I forgot to film the finished popcorn. So I'm gonna say that ideally, that's the finished result because it was so good that you can't film it before it's eaten. But give that method of making popcorn a try if you haven't already. It's easy and cheap and you have so much control over it. And you can get so much more popcorn. And it tastes great. So I got back from work a while ago actually, but then I had to go back because it was like a parent night kind of thing. But I got something very super exciting in the mail. The last bit of Lily, my big Amazon order. So I want to do an unboxing of that. But before then, I want to do a little bit of an introduction to my slight watch addiction. So I love watches. If there's one thing that I truly collect, it's watches and I intend to continue to collect. So I kind of have all these little novelty watches, couple little like casual leather bands that I got. Like this one's from Target, this one I got um, on a cruise my family went on. And then these two I got from my dad. This one's actually really funny because it's like a novelty Apple Watch. And on the back, it actually says Apple Watch. So I kind of like to joke that I have two Apple Watches. Uh, of course, I do have the Apple Watch that Lily gave me, which is really cool. And then I have my, my other kind of group of watches which are my little bit nicer ones. This one, the uh, uh, Sewn Co, I can't remember what collection it is. Uh, but it's the first watch I actually bought myself. All the other ones were given to me as gifts. Um, 
so I was really fortunate. But this is the first one I bought myself. Um, definitely different from some of the other watches that I own, which we'll get to in a second. This one, uh, Seiko 5, this one is particularly special. This is the first watch I ever got. This is solid. I mean, this is shows no wear whatsoever, and I've had this one for a few years now. My dad, he wears a lot of Seikos too, and he had an old one. So this cool gold one, super thin and light. This one, and you can tell that I'm looking through the camera, not actually looking where my hand is going. But this was my first leather band of watch, so Bolova stainless steel with a rose gold trim. Really, really thin. For a while, I only was really interested in like these kind of minimalist style watches, but I really like this one. And my second leather banded watch, uh, Lily actually gave this one to me and she really just like hit the nail on the head with what I wanted. Um, I really wanted a black leather band um, and I really loved this blue watch face. It has a couple different miniature dials too. I honestly don't know, I always forget what they all do. This, this cool bike thing I found and Without further ado, what I got today, and the second watch I bought myself, I got another Seiko. And I'm super, super excited about it. I won't bother doing the full unboxing, but I do want to show off how cool this box is. Like, this is solid. I'm like looking forward to displaying this somehow. And this is the watch itself. So it's another Seiko 5, like my other silver one. But I saw this one on Amazon, and I really like the blue watch face and this kind of orange accent. So this, I'm really excited about. It was supposed to arrive tomorrow, but it came a day early, and I was overjoyed when I saw it. It never hurts to own a nice looking watch or two. I know a lot of my, my Seikos and my Skagen and the Bulova and all those watches, I value them for their look and their versatility. I mean, I've worn them with suits and I've worn them with uh, t-shirt shorts. Um, they're really comfortable and they're really cool and it can, be a, it can be a great little thing to have. So watches are nice. So I am just editing my latest video because I took a DNA test and my results are back. So if you're interested in watching that, we will link it below. Crossing my fingers, we can still get a good turkey. <laughs>